We have a story that impacts all of us. Help me Ank and Dr. McGeorge teaming up to help us understand just the vast amount of products out there that are claiming to help us feel better and also help us save money in the process. And if you're not careful, you end up lying on the pharmacy floor like Hank did. <laughs> overwhelmed. Uh, yeah, just you're <laughs> overwhelmed. Uh, well, they were at the pharmacy to give us kind of some insider info on cold and flu meds yesterday. That was five o'clock this morning. How about we get the inside scoop on some vitamins and popular hangover cure remedies. Do they really work? So our consumer investigator Hank Winchester is here live in studio with us. As I downed my litany of vitamins this morning, I thought about you. I was like, am I going to stop or am I just not going to listen to him? It, you know, it was just, <laughs> it was so fascinating spending time with McGeorge in his element. Yes. <laughs> because he knows so much stuff that we don't know. So right. we worked with Dr. McGeorge to break it all down yesterday at five. And this morning, we're talking about vitamins and supplements and also those popular hangover cures. Do they really work? Take a look. Walking to your local pharmacy, it can be simply overwhelming. Dr. McGeorge and I hit this CVS in Northville. We're talking cold and flu meds last night at five o'clock. The two big takeaways go generic. The ingredients are almost identical. The taste may be a little bit different, but if you can stomach it, you could save three to six dollars. You as a doctor always buy the generic. Always buy the generic. Okay, but so here's me though, thinking as a parent, sometimes I think, well, I can't buy the generic for my child because she deserves the better one. It's no better. No, you're just wasting your money. Are you Honestly, kidding me? Yeah, you're just wasting your can money. Can I get back. five years of medicine back? <laughs> The other takeaway for the common cold, Dr. McGeorge picks Sudafed as the best overall medication. And yes, there was a generic version for that as well. I would take Sudafed all day long as far as treating congestion, runny nose, stuffiness over any of these other products all day long. This morning, we're in the vitamin aisle and the buzzwords on the packaging surely draw you in. These do not fall under standard FDA regulation. They don't have to really prove what they do. They can make a loose, uh, inference as to what they are meant for. So this is meant for prostate health, but they don't have to prove medically that it will do anything useful for your prostate. Here's the big news. In this aisle, the doctor says don't go generic, and here's why. Nutritional supplements or anything that falls under the supplement category, getting it from a reliable source is actually really important because unfortunately there's a lot of shady players in the supplement market that either don't have completely purified products or don't have the amount of product that they claim to. Also, when it comes to vitamins, the doctor just isn't a fan altogether. There is, generally speaking, very little benefit to taking more than the recommended daily allowance of any supplement or vitamin. Okay. And the recommended daily allowance is always going to be better if you take it as food, not as a pill. Next dial over, we're talking hangovers and hydration. Liquid ID. No. These hangover cures are all the rage and they're also pricey, about 15 bucks. The doc has a much cheaper alternative that he says is just as effective. As an alternative to taking this, you could drink 16 ounces of water, eat a banana and take a multivitamin and maybe have a little bit of sugar and you would be saving yourself $14.49. No matter whether it's cold and flu meds, vitamins or hydration packs, remember you can save by joining the store's loyalty program and using apps like Coupon Finder to help you save a little bit more. Uh, so Dr. McGeorge also forgot to mention you could also just eat a little Taco Bell at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he did not say that. No, he did not. <laughs> but I will tell you, as this morning, as I popped my vitamins, maybe yeah. it's just mental. I think to myself, well, this is doing something for me. But Dr. Mm -hmm. McGeorge says, listen, you should really be getting your nutrients from your food, right. not your supplements. That's a personal choice. But in that category, he says, make sure you buy the brand name. When it mm -hmm. comes to cold flu, you can go generic and save a little bit of money. I caught that. And Sudafed is like so old school. <laughs> and he loves it. He says it's his number one overall pick if you have a cold.